kidnapping in Buffalo, New York this weekend has many similarities with the mass shooting in El Paso on August 3rd, nearly three years ago. Both involved a suspect believed to have driven to stores hundreds of miles away from their homes. Both suspects' motives are believed racism, and in both massacres, the accused shooters survived. Both communities also now have this in common. They're waiting to see what's happening with the suspects, Peyton Gendron in Buffalo and Patrick Crucius here in El Paso. It's been nearly three years since the mass shooting at the Sierra Vista Walmart, which left 23 people dead. And former El Paso Mayor Dean Margo wants the Crucius case to move forward. Well, here we are hitting almost three years in August, and I don't understand why it's taken so long. I know that there was a lot of evidence. It took the FBI a great deal of time to uh, gather everything to make it an ironclad case. But I would think, I think they're through with that. So I would just uh, ask our DA, where are we? Well, the El Paso District Attorney's Office has not answered that question. In fact, this is video of the last time Crucius was in court in October of 2019 when he pleaded not guilty. Back in February of this year, the judge, prosecutors, and Crucius's lawyers couldn't agree on a trial date. Prosecutors wanted it to start in June of 2023. The defense wanted to begin in March of 2025. The judge said he wanted all parties to meet again at the end of March to possibly schedule a trial date, but nothing major has happened. We have been checking and no new court hearings have been scheduled to determine when Crucius will go on trial. ABC 7 contacted the El Paso District Attorney's Office today to get an update on the Crucius case. And as Stephanie mentioned, we have not heard back. We will continue to seek this information, though, and we'll let you know as soon as we learn anything new.